For any snow junkie in the northern hemisphere, June through September can be a rough stretch of time. I often find myself leaving messages with Mother Nature. Just give me a few days of powder this August. Nobody has to know. She has yet to return my call. I've often wished there were a support group for skiers without a slope, an Alpine Holics Anonymous, if you will. This summer I had a wonderful opportunity to spend a few days across the pond in the mountain town of Wengen, Switzerland. Since the snow had melted many months prior, I wanted to see what activities the Alps had to offer during the off-season. Like Bale, Breckenridge, and Keystone, I found the view spectacular, albeit greener than I'd preferred. I planned a day of mountain biking around the valley to take in the scenery and to capture how the Swiss were biding their time until winter. I rented my bike from the local shop and took it down a twisting path to the town below. The zigzagging route kept me on my toes the entire way down, and this ended up being the most technically challenging leg of the tour. Once the path opened up and I could release a bit of tension, I found myself riding freely. While the sensation was reminiscent of carving through a fresh mashed potato snowfall, something was missing. As I leveled onto flatter ground at the bottom of the valley, the trail became heavily trafficked with hikers. Hiking is another great way to get your mountain fix. You get to enjoy the scenery more than you would white knuckle biking, and you still end your day having achieved a healthy amount of exercise. However, hiking lacks one crucial component, adrenaline. Just then, the fluttering sound of parachutes deploying above me took me by surprise, and I realized where to get that specific fix of adrenaline in its purest form. The base jumpers and gliders were descending from the cliffs overhead. For those looking for that downhill thrill, this may be the best option, but free falling too leaves something to be desired when compared to skiing. It's the reason we don't dart directly down the ski hill. A controlled glide across the slope is simply incomparable. I took the gondola up to the next cliff and indulged in my favorite off-hill pastime, dining with a view. With that landscape, I could have eaten packing peanuts and I wouldn't have noticed. Heavier, but definitely happier, I biked a gentle road to the cogwheel train back home. Each of the activities I saw encompassed some of my favorite components of skiing, but none brought them all together as one the way a snowy mountain does, with scenery, adrenaline, and control in perfect harmony. Thankfully, there's always next winter.